Ricky was pretty happy with that. Yeah, really pleased. I think over this three game block, you know, we've got stronger like game to game and the guys as a group have really developed and improved week to week and to, to finish with that performance and the result we got today was just showing how hard the group of players have worked and you know, outstanding win. Um, you know, disappointing to concede at the end there um, in terms of the points difference in the group but the defence sets up until that point where exactly where he wanted to be and the bench came on and made a big impact as well. Okay, so it was really pleasing. Yeah, to weather that little storm the first what, 20 minutes or so, some of and Quint had a lot of the ball, but as soon as you started stretching your legs, there was no looking back. Yeah, we just forced a few things in that first 20, which didn't allow us to get into our attacking game and defensive shape. So once we got out that 20 and we sort of calmed down and relaxed a little bit, we really put our game onto to Quinns and where we got a lot of our points. Second half, then we came out and just forced a few little bits there as well. But we actually got control of the, the game back, obviously with a try. And then for that last 20 minutes, yeah, we had to defend the ball for for long phases of play. And and Dave Dennis and they, those guys really fronted up. Josh Caulfield put in a great shift, both in attack and defence. So really pleased with you know, not just the guys that started, but the bench that came on and really lifted the side as well. So like Flatties. Found sort of Premiership opportunities hard to come by, but show today just we can do that. It's beautiful. Yeah, I, I, I don't think it's just today. He's been very good over this block, but also in the A League and opportunities that he got last season in terms of when he, he came into the side. I think you know we have got a high caliber of wingers here at the club, and you know, he's had to wait and bide his time and work really hard. And just showed today and last week, you know what a dangerous threat he is, and you know, he, he he shows that he's strong on the ball. We asked a lot of the guys today about. Yeah, that, that fight and he showed that in the way that he carried and yeah, what a hell of a try that he took there under the post. Yeah, downside is he did lose a few forwards, didn't you, those first 20 minutes. Mitch sees, I dare say, particularly for concern given how long he's been out of the ball. No, um, with Mitch it was more limited game time, so we just had to make sure that he got through a, a set amount of game time. We did lose James Freeman to an injury, Jack Inod to an injury, so obviously we'll, we'll assess those now after the game. So that they aren't exactly where we, what we'd want in this game, but it just showed the guys that came Rich Capstick, you know, for a 19-year-old came on, I thought was outstanding in and around the you know, defence, you know, uh, the line-outs and that side. So we did pick up a few, but the guys that came on sort of plugged the gap and actually lifted, lifted the side as well. Um, you took Mitch Lees off just as a, you just gave him half an hour and yeah, it's just more off. Yeah, it's just, you know, this is a great competition to get minutes into players and also when guys are coming back from injury, it allows us just to mix up the squad. So, yeah, we... So there was no injury or... No, with, the, yeah, with Sam, Sam Skinner being away as well with Scotland today and, and a few other players away, obviously, in England duty. We've got to keep the squad rotating and, and getting minutes, but also, you know, we've built some momentum now and we're now going back into the Premiership next week and that's going to be our focus. So, we've used that this week to get some game time into guys and then also we're going to build for what is a hell of a game at Bristol next Sunday.